The Disaster Artist, starring James Franco, Dave Franco, Seth Rogen, and directed by James Franco. And it's based off the book, The Disaster Artist, written by Greg Sestero, which is about the making of the movie The Room from 2003. Now, for those of you who don't know that much about the movie The Room, it came out, like Dino said, in 2003, and it kind of hit the pinnacle of caught midnight status. Uh, it created a lore where people would go mm -hmm. see this movie in like a Rocky Horror Picture type of style. Uh, people would talk to the movie, say yep. the lines back, bring things, throw it throughout the theater, yep. throw it at the screen. Uh, what happened is, is James Franco found out about this movie and uh, decided to create a movie based on the book. Right. So it's uh, based on actual events, mm -hmm. on the making of the movie, and also just the friendship between the two main characters. Yeah. Now, if you don't know about The Room, it is by far the worst movie ever made. And that's what makes it so special because it's beautifully bad. It's artistically bad. It's, uh, it's tragically good. It's so bad. All right. Uh, well, we're not reviewing The Room right now, so let's review The Disaster Artist. I'm going to go ahead and review both because in order to truly appreciate The Disaster Artist, you have to have sort of seen okay. The Room first. Uh, the Room is made fun of on like practically every level. Uh, what I found important about the movie is, is that it's more of a movie about friendship. It's a movie about overcoming odds. Right. And although Tommy Wazoo, Wazoo, what's his name? Well, however you want to call him. I'm going to call his name uh, Tommy Wazoo. Uh, Tommy is a psychopath, maybe. Um, but he's beautifully odd and beautifully weird and he's so self-assured and so confident in himself But the movie goes into like these deep dark moments where right. he's sort of left alone to his own devices And we sort of see who he truly is and I think James Franco played it sensitively and beautifully and uh, There's moments in the movie where you just like you really empathize with Tommy and you're rooting for him Even though you know he has no clue what he's doing He uh, you almost feel bad for uh, Dave Franco's character though for for Greg uh, or Mark, which is the movie within the movie. Um, I, I think, because he, he's the one that seems to really starting to get all these chances, mm. but he has to then decide uh, whether to stick with friendship or follow his dream, right? Right. And he actually decides on many occasions uh, to, to stick it out with his friend. It really is a classic story about friendship, and yeah. I think anybody can relate to it. What I would like to know is, uh, what people who maybe have not seen The Room think of the movie. Because this is the interesting thing of a movie like this. It has so many different types of people that are going to go watch it. You have the, the people that love The Room that are just, which I want to see with some people that were just completely uh, bananas about just Tommy and The Room itself and everything and had read the book that it was based on and all that and they just freaking loved it. I'm kind of, I'm whatever. On, I think the movie is so well done. You don't necessarily have to have seen The Room to enjoy it, but after you see it, you will definitely want to see The Room. Right, for sure. Mm -hmm. But I do want to, that's what I would like to hear more so is people that have no idea what yeah. the room is and just when because they're like I love Seth Rogen movies and James Franco yeah, if you, so if you like James Franco and Seth Rogen movies I would imagine you're generally going to like this movie you're gonna appreciate it because it is funny even if you don't know anything yeah. about the room going in there's some really funny there's a lot of funny parts uh, and a if, lot of sad yeah, parts yeah, too which I, I didn't see coming yeah it's the movie is actually really good it's uh, really well rounded. I think it has great character exploration mm -hmm. uh, on actual people, and so I'm. I enjoyed the movie. I would. I enjoyed it as well. Yeah, I would recommend it for sure. And check out the room. I gotta just watch it again. I. I'm in. I don't care about the. You didn't like the room very much, right? No, I was in a weird spot when I saw it, mm. uh, and I get it. And do you mean a weird spot in life, or you were literally in a weird spot when you watched it? <laughs> In life, okay. I think I knew okay. no one, and I moved. I guess I felt like Tommy was who. Now that now watching, now watching uh, the disaster artist, I feel like uh, I saw the room as like Tommy or or the Greg character, like complete unknown in a new area, and everyone around you knows what's going on. Okay, so I got you. Yeah, and you know what? It's also a great story for people who are actors following their dreams in Hollywood. I, I thought it right. shot Hollywood beautifully, and it really got the tone of what actual Hollywood in Los Angeles is really like. I felt like I felt like how I felt when I first moved to Los Angeles watching that movie. So it's pretty spot on in that right. way, and I think they kind of nailed that. 
Yeah, that's yeah. I, again, I think a lot of different groups of people, subcultures, subgenres, subreddit groups uh, would really like this movie. From just your regular theater kids, mm -hmm. your podheads, um, your you know yeah. social historians, if you will. So it's a good movie. We recommend it. Go yeah. out and check it out. Check it out for sure. Okay, so we watched this movie again with MoviePass, something we've been using nonstop. Uh, my question to you, Jason, is if you didn't have MoviePass, would you pay to watch this movie in the theater? Yeah, sure. I generally like, uh, I generally like uh, Seth Rogen and James Franco collaboration, so I probably would have saw this in theaters. If not, I would have definitely seen it right away when it came out on DVD or on digital or whatever. So yeah, definitely would have paid for it or seen it regardless in one aspect or another. I would recommend you watch this in movie theaters. I, I, uh, I'm indifferent about it. Pay, don't pay for it. I probably wouldn't have paid unless someone made me go with them. Uh, it's a good social movie because right. The Room is a good social movie. That's uh, I saw it in the theater with people who were clearly Room fans. Yes, and they were all about it. Me so, too. Yeah. We, uh, I think I went the, the Friday night and it was packed and I was like fourth row or something like that and people knew all the lines. So that's our two cents. Yep. That's our take on The Disaster Artist. Uh, go check it out. We highly recommend it. Uh, my name's Jason. My name's Dino. And we are the Movie Passengers. See you guys next time. Peace.